Hey there, CJ Math students. We're on page 104 in our book, and today we're going to talk about the relationship between a circle's circumference and its diameter. So a circumference is the distance around a circle. You can think of it like a, a perimeter. And a diameter is the length across to the center of a circle. So what do we notice about these circles here? Well, we can make a little bit of a, a, a plot here. So we could say a diameter and our circumference, we can make kind of a table here. Notice I'm not, I'm not dividing these just yet. All right, so when our diameter is 2, our circumference is 6.28. When our diameter is 3, our circumference is 9.42. When our circumference is 4, our diameter is 12.56. And then here, you'll notice our... We don't have a circumference. This is called a radius. When it is halfway across the circle, we have a radius. So to figure out our diameter, we just extend this line. If that's 2.5, this has to be 2.5. So that means our diameter here is 5. Remember, a diameter is a line all the way across the center of a circle. So we have 5.70. So um, let's go ahead and figure out what the relationship is is between our circumference and our diameter. So circumference and diameter relationship. So let's take our circumference, maybe you can already see it in the table, and divide that by our diameter. So for our first one, that's 6.28 divided by 2 gives us 3.14. Interesting. For our next one, we have 9.42 divided by 3, we get 3.14. Interesting. Have we seen 3.14 before? Hmm. It might be this thing called pi. Let's keep going. 12.56 divided by 4. We get 3.14. And then our last one, 15.7 divided by 5. We get 3.14, right? So the relationship that we have, it's proportional, um, the circumference and diameter. But when you take the circumference and you divide it by your diameter, you get, every single time, 3.14, which is also known as this mathematical term, pi. Write it out like that. Not pi that you eat, but pi. All right, move to page 104, and you'll notice those, instead of writing a table, they'll kind of graph this out for you. And what do we notice about this graph? Graph is proportional. Why do we know it's proportional? What are the two things that have to happen for a graph to be proportional? One, starts at the origin, zero, zero. And two, it has a constant of proportionality, or a unit rate, or k, right? So that constant of proportionality, k is equal to, when we divided 6.28 divided by 2, or 9.42 divided by 3, or 12.56 divided by 4, 15.7 divided by 5, we got 3.14. So our equation for this is y is equal to our circumference, which is our y, is equal to our diameter, which is our x. y is equal to our constant, which is 3.14x. So think about what this means. If I give you any diameter, right, this is x, diameter. If I give you any diameter, all you have to do is multiply it by 3.14, and you'll get the circumference. On the flip side, if I give you any circumference, which is y, and you divide it by 3.14, you'll get the diameter. So you might have noticed when you were dividing that you weren't exactly getting 3.14. You were getting this kind of uh, about 3.14, and then maybe it had to be rounded, right? So that means um, each circumference is approximate. So this, this kind of squiggly equal sign is approximately equal to... Um, your diameter times 3.14. Okay, so what is the, why is the point 515 on the graph? Because, well, remember 5, when you had that circle that was 2.5, that 2.5 was a radius, right? And we need to find our diameter. So we extended that, right? We said, oh, this is also 2.5, so this is 5, right? So that's how we got our 5 there. And that just means if you have a diameter of 5, your circumference will be 
about. Right? And so here's the big takeaway. What does the constant proportionality, which is 3.14, tell you about the relationship between circumference and diameter of circle? Uh, the circumference is always about 3.14 times the diameter. So we get this new mathematical equation that stays true the entire time. C is equal to pi d, right? Circumference is equal to pi, or about 3.14, times our diameter.